This is Matt Russell from the FX Power Course, and welcome to the Daily FX Walkthrough. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound, and this is the support line that I've had up for the past several reports, uh, the, the previous support line that should now act as resistance moving forward. We did have a sell-off uh, off the last test of this uh, resistance line, previous support line, now turned to resistance. And now prices seem to be staging a rally near from just below that 88 figure. Uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours or throughout the course of this week, uh, I, I would lean towards a rally in this pair uh, using last week's low uh, near the 87.93 area uh, as our reference point for a stop. So if we can get an entry uh, somewhere close to that level, uh, which will keep our risk low, and then I'm targeting prices to test this line uh, one more time. Uh, this line and a short-term daily uh, resistance line also converge uh, at a price point that would be tomorrow, but this line is probably a little more accurate and the line that I would be looking for uh, for prices to test. And this again would be, this is a daily chart, this would be a longer-term resistance line. And also these lines might converge, uh, or actually it's a mathematical certainty that they will converge uh, over the next few days. So that's a price point that we can uh, keep our eye on, um, and, and certainly once those lines cross, that could be a target area. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi daily chart, and this is the uh, the, the bounce continues off that 38.2 Fib level, which I mentioned uh, now uh, almost two weeks back in, in my reports. And now we can see prices uh, made a high just below that 128 figure. Uh, if you're still in this trade, I would continue to, to take some profits. I was mentioning to take some profits uh, near that 125 figure originally, and now if you're still holding on to the to the rest of the position, I might look to take profits maybe near that 127 figure if prices do test that price level once again. Next chart is the pound Swiss, and not much has changed here. As I mentioned last week, I was stopped out uh, on a trade last week, uh, shorting just beneath that uh, 170 figure. Um, now prices, uh, they did close above that area. Now they're coming back down. I would need uh, prices to close beneath that 69.50 area for me to get a little more bearish on the pair and then to actually set up a, a short trade base on that. So that's what I'm looking for over the next 24 to 48 hours on the pound Swiss that close beneath the 69.50 area. The last chart is the Euro Swiss, and this is the daily chart once again, and this is a longer term resistance line that I've been using uh, for the past few weeks now on my reports, and we have this uh, shorter term bullish flag pattern. Prices have broken out above it, found support uh, from the previous resistance. Let me zoom in here to get a better view of that. And now moving forward, I'm expecting prices to rally uh, off this area and test that longer term resistance line. As I mentioned a few reports back, we might use that doji candle uh, as our reference point. The low of the doji is 150.80, and we can use that with now prices around 150.103. The only thing is I'm, I'm not as uh, bullish as I would be just because prices have not broke out from the bull, bull flag pattern um, with enthusiasm, if you will, and they're kind of going sideways here. So I'm not as bullish as I normally would be. With that being said, prices are still above uh, the, the previous resistance line of the bull flag, which would make me lean uh, towards the bullish side, and that would be a test of that longer-term resistance line on the daily chart near the 154 figure. Again, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. Thanks for listening.